yay, another video. Okay, so today I love my rip tees, and I know I've, I've worn a few in, in recent videos. Rip tees to me are the best thing ever because I live in Vegas and it gets hot, and um, I don't like to wear just regular tees, it's way too hot. So today I wanted to show you guys how I cut my tees to make them look kind of like rugged and rigged. Rugged and rigged? Hello, Crystal, are you there? Um, I ordered two t-shirts from Black Craft Cult. I have never ordered from them before. Um, Black Craft Cult is kind of like a gothy, witchy sort of company. They had a 45% sale, so I decided to order from them. So I ordered this shirt first, I Believe in Ghosts. Nothing is on the back, I thought it was pretty cute. And then the second shirt that I ordered for this video is, it says, um, Ghost with the Most, and it has a really cute front. Nothing on the back, just plain. So um, I will say I live in Vegas. This company is supposedly, um, they, they ship out of LA. So usually when I order something from LA, it's here like really quickly. But for some reason, this company, it took three and a half weeks to get these. And I live in Vegas. So I don't know if I really like that, to be honest. I don't like when you have to wait that long for merchandise that you bought. I did order these in an extra large. I like bigger tees. I also dry them. I think they look better after they're dried. And I'm assuming these are probably 100% cotton. Yes, they are. So it's going to shrink. So I got an extra large. I think these are unisex sizes. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you guys how I cut these. Now, a lot of people will cut these. Um, they'll tell you to put this on like a flat base and then trim it that way if you want it to get even. Yes, that is the way to do it, but like I, I'm just not gonna do it that way because I've done so many t-shirts where I've cut them myself, I'm not even worried about it. So the first thing is I'm taking off the um, tag. Okay, so this is the shoulder here. So I like to create like two to three cuts. Literally, this is on the seam though. You have to make sure it's like folded perfectly on the seam. So I'm going to take a couple of cuts, maybe two or three inches in on the shoulder. I'm gonna go straight down like this. Also, you just need a really good pair of scissors. Honestly, that's all you need. And then I'm gonna take this sleeve and I'm gonna do about three cuts here as well. Now, once this is on, we'll be able to rip these a little bit more and make them look a little bit more rugged. So I don't like to do the same thing on both sides. I like to do like two on one side and three on the other. And once you have it on, you'll be able to see where you want things to change. I remember to actually like these sleeves. I'm not going to cut the seam that's on this. I'm going to cut next to the seam. One more little cut. I like the edges to droop down just a little bit. And it's okay if they're not even, like you don't want them to be even. So to get in the light so you guys can see, these are the three cuts that I've made that are here. You'll be able to see it better when it's on. So now what I do is I'm gonna puncture some holes. I don't wanna ruin the picture, obviously, but I wanna puncture some holes. So I take the scissors like this, and I'm just gonna jab it in, in a couple of spots on each side, and just rip it down. So I have this rip right here. And now the final thing that I do is on the bottom, so here's the bottom of this, I'm gonna make like three or four cuts on each side of this. So once you actually um, wash this, it looks better. So this is where you see the cuts and you see the cuts on this side. So what I'm gonna do now is you have to pull it on each opening. You can't really screw it up, so don't be afraid of it. Remember, it's gonna shrink down. And like I said, it looks better once it's actually washed. So I actually like my shoulders to be more exposed. So I do this in the mirror where I look and like measure it out. I like the sleeves to be a little bit more loose too. I think they look better when they're like larger and looser. I can actually pull my arm through here. There's no right or wrong. And you have to pull the fabric. See how I like pull this fabric and then it makes it a little bit more like loose like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Actually, I think I need a cut right here. So I'm just gonna do this on. See how it makes it like 
pulling this this way, see how I pulled it up like that, stretches that fabric out and makes it more like the loose t-shirt sort. That's what I really like about the loose tees. These are all okay. This one's not in. So this side looks pretty good so far. Once again, once it's washed, it's gonna look even better. So the same thing, they need to be pulled this way to make it loose. And that is it, that's how I wear my tee. Isn't that cute? I think it's fun. And it will look so much better once it's actually washed and dried. Just don't dry them with other things or this will get pilly. And only dry them one time because otherwise it's gonna start looking really worn. Maybe you do want that worn look. Um, it's kind of up to you when you're like styling these how to make it look. I think it looks so much better. It's kind of like a tank in a way than just like a plain t-shirt. I also feel like over time you just get more confident with it and you just sort of like go for it takes practice. I mean, I don't think you're really going to screw it up. You know, like the first one I did, I thought I was going to screw it up. I was really scared. I was like, oh my God, it's a brand new shirt. All right. So this is this one. So I'm going to just do the same thing, which is pulling this. And that is Ghost with the Mouse. I'll have to film with these. So that completes my tutorial on how to do do-it-yourself ripped t-shirts. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you guys do this at home, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear it. Please give my video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.